Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again with the third part of our Avid Marquee Tool tutorial. Last time we went over several cool things involving the color and the, the uh, transparencies or opacities of our titles and we also created a neat little glow effect as well as a few shapes but uh, we deleted the shapes to get rid of those for now so we can work in this tutorial where we're going to be finishing up our titles and saving them for the Avid Bend in our Avid Media Composer so that we can put them in our timeline over on top of our video. Okay, in this video we're going to be learning how to uh, save our video, uh, I mean sorry, save our titles and we're going to learn how to update the titles in case if we uh, need to go back and change something temporarily. We're going to learn about rolling and crawling titles and user templates and you know how to create fades on your titles and everything and there's also uh, there and there's also a little function called the auto titler which uh, allows you to use your templates to create several different kinds of information on your titles say if you had lower thirds or something like that well I hope you watched uh, my last two tutorials since they'll probably help you out a little bit in this one but um if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I've been making an Avid Media Composer series, and uh, like I say in all my videos, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user, as well as an Avid Media Composer certified user, but I'm in no way a certified user for either of those programs. I'm doing this for you guys' benefit. I realize how difficult it is, especially with new things like Avid Marquee, which a lot of people don't really know how to use or you know don't use at all because of the title tool which has been around in Avid for a very long time.